Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a huge haul for you guys today from Wool Warehouse in the United Kingdom. Everything that I purchased is from the Drop Studio. So I'm gonna go through, show you all of the yarn that I got, and then talk about my plans for it moving forward. So first up, uh, these are all of the yarns that I purchased for making the Holly sweater, and I'll pop up a picture of that pattern or, or the, the sweater that I want to make with that. First, I have five skeins of the Drops, Drops Kids Silk. This is a blend of mohair and silk. Um, let's see, what's the percentages? I want to say it's like 70, 75% mohair maybe. Yeah, 75% mohair, 25% silk. So this is the color Moonstone. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it looks like the, the center core of it is like an off-white to cream, but it has uh, the, the mohair fibers in sort of like a gray and a white. It's sort of two-toned, and I think it looks really, really pretty. And I'm going to be holding this double with um, this drops air over here, which is, I believe it's pearl gray. You know, they don't... They don't put the color names on here. So the color of this one is 44 and the color of this one is three. So I'm thinking this is pearl gray and this is moonstone, but I'm hoping that they look pretty good together. So it is a, a sort of cool toned, um, grayish modeled variation. And Drops Air is a yarn that I haven't used before. I think it's blown. So this is a 65% alpaca, 28% polyamide, and 7% wool. Um, it does have a really nice sort of thick feel to it, but it's really, really lightweight like most alpaca is. Um, at first I thought it was going to be like blown, but it doesn't look like it. It does, no. Nah. I guess there is sort of like a cage in there similar to the drops air. Uh, so yeah, really excited about this. I did get six six of the drops air in this pearl gray colorway it should be enough meterage for me based on and what everyone else was using to make this each ball contains 150 meters or 164 yards so quite happy with how those two are looking so obviously the holly sweater is a color work sweater so for the contrast i i just really love the way it looked with the green so I did get drops air in their forest green to go with it. It's quite interesting because on the pearl gray, um, the yarn strand itself is very like round and plush. It has like a very consistent round appearance to it. But in um, the forest green colorway, it seems to look a little bit more fuzzy, a little bit more furry. I think it'll be fine for the way I'm going to use it, especially because I'm holding it with mohair. But um, it's it's interesting to note that like, even though this and this is the same uh, yarn style, so they're both called Air, um, the finish looks a little bit different on the gray than it does the forest green. The forest green is again a mixed color, so it's not a, a solid block of color. And there is some sort of like bluey greens and a little bit more olivey or yellow tones greens and all like mixes in there to make a little bit more variegated appearance, which I quite like. Um, to hold with it, I, I got the Kid Silk and Dark Green. These don't look particularly great together. The Dark Green is a lot more yellow toned and this seems to have an all over more blue tone to it, but I have a feeling it'll look okay held together because obviously uh, you don't really see a whole lot of the mohair um, in a single strand, right? You just get that faint little little halo from it. So I think it'll be okay, we'll see. If not, I'm sure I have some other options jingling around that I can go ahead and use. So I only had one in the forest green and one in the dark green to make that color work on the sweater. Next up, I have yarn that I want to use to make the Sheep Happens sweater. Again, I'll pop up a picture of that. This is a pattern from Drops Designs, and it's a free pattern, which is really nice. I've been using a lot of Drops free patterns lately. Um, they are a little bit hard to read. They're not like the most beginner friendly, but uh, it, it's clear enough that I could figure it out. 
That pattern is originally designed for the Drops Extra Fine Merino. Um, I have one sweater that I'm currently working on right now that uses the Extra Fine Merino. I don't necessarily love its texture. Uh, it is a superwash yarn, and so I know that superwash yarns can tend to stretch a little bit more, so I decided I didn't want to use that for this sweater. So um, all of their yarns are, are categorized, so this is still the same category as the Extra Fine Merino. I just moved it to a different style yarn, so it should still knit up the same, have the same sort of gauge as the other one did, um, but it's just a different yarn. So these are more traditional style yarns that aren't super wash and will be required hand washing and stuff like that. So for the bottom of the sweater, the ground, the foreground, I'm using this Drops um, Puna natural mix in the color taupe. Uh, this is, I think, color 04, so taupe. Um, this is 100% alpaca. It's really, really soft. Uh, I had purchased this taupe for another sweater as well, um, and it's really soft. I haven't made the other sweater yet, but I've been like rubbing this against my cheek, and I was like, yep, this is the one I want to use. So this is going to be the ground, so I got eight of those. Um, and then, of course, for the sheep, I bought off-white for the sheep, and this black mix for like the, the feet and um, the snouts of the sheep. I think that'll look really natural. And then I didn't really see anything in the Puna range that I thought would work for the top or the sky. Uh, I looked at a bunch of people on Instagram and what they had done, and I really loved the idea of doing blush for the sky instead of the light gray or light blue. I have a lot of blue sweaters already, but I thought this blush would look really, really nice with my skin tone, especially against my face. And I sort of like liked the gradation of it. So they didn't have anything in this yarn range that um, I liked. So I went over to Lima. Lima is a mixture of, let's see, 50... 65% wool and 35% alpaca. So this is 100% alpaca. This is a, a wool and alpaca mix. I'm hoping it'll be okay to mix these two together. Again, they are supposed to be similar um, thicknesses of the yarn. So that shouldn't be an issue. Looking at it right now, I feel like the Puna is a little bit smaller than the Lima is, but it could be that this blooms. I'm not familiar with it since I haven't knitted with it yet. So these are gonna be the sky, the sheep, and then the ground of that sweater. Next up, I bought 11 skeins of Drop Wish, and this is also in the colorway forest green, um, color 17. So Drop's Wish is a mix of 50% alpaca, 33% cotton, and 17% wool. Uh, I, again, I, this is not a yarn that I've ever used before, but it's super, super squishy. It is quite bulky. I think that they, they call it, what did they call it, a yarn group? Yarn group E, which I think is their bulkiest yarn group. Um, originally I was thinking of making a holiday sweater from Petite Knit, but I think there is a sweater on Drops website, which I cannot remember the name right now. I think it's like winter something. I will post up a picture over here and down in the descriptions, but I think I'm going to use that instead. I like the idea. It's like, it's going to be a bulky sweater, obviously, because this is bulky yarn, but the yarn is feels very lightweight, even though it's bulky, so I don't think it'll be too heavy. I'm a little bit disappointed. There, there's, there's color variation in it, which is what I expected to see those like bluey greens and, and more yellowy greens, but it looks like the center of it, whatever that cotton is, uh, doesn't take dye, which is not surprising because cotton doesn't take the same sort of dyes that uh, protein-based fibers do, like animal fur. So, <sighs> Like you can see that sort of like off-white core to it, which I don't love the look of. That's a little bit disappointing considering this is one of the more expensive yarns that they sell. I'll just have to get over it. <laughs> uh, but you can sort of like see in the image here where there's like, there's like an off-white or light color that, sh that shines through on the yarn. I don't know, I just, I don't love how it looks. I wish it was more vibrantly green. So I have 11 skeins of this and See, they're 50 gram skeins and they come with 70 meters per skein. So again, it's super bulky. So not very much comes in each one. So I will have to, to change off balls very frequently during the making of this sweater. Next up, I have 11 balls of Drops Nepal. And this again is in the color forest green. I was really into green on this shopping trip. So I did buy greens and lots of their different yarns. This is the one that's sort of like spurred me to make this purchase because I saw this yarn on somebody else's channel and I just I had to have it. I just thought it was so gorgeous. I'm hoping that this is something that you can see 
on camera that sort of variation of color the, this one has a lot of that deeper olive again with this sort of like teal or more bluey green mixed in with it i think it's a really gorgeous color green i'm excited to work with it i have made a sweater previously with this yarn the drops nepal and that sweater was the white peacock and i used red clay was the colorway um so i'm excited I, like that one turned out really really well and i love it it's really soft and comfortable so i know that i'm going to love working with this yarn as well so for this yarn i'm planning to do uh the owl sweater and i will pop up a picture of the owl sweater over here and again link down in the description box below this is a sweater i have known about before I even started knitting and I've always wanted one so I'm really excited to get my own and I'm excited that it's going to be in this deep rich sort of green color so very very excited for that I think it's interesting to note so here we have Wish, Air, and Nepal all of these are sold as the color forest green but you can see they're they're quite different um, I would say Nepal over here is the yellowiest of the greens. Then it's followed by Wish, and then Air has the most blue tone to it. Even though, as I had said, these are all sold as forest green. They're all sort of like a multi-dimensional green color. But they look very, very different. So it's, it's something to note that like the colors don't really translate across the different yarn varieties that they have um, and then of course i have this dark green kid silk which i actually i mean i purchased it to go with air but i think it actually looks the best with nepal if i had to choose and then last up the last sweater i have is using the drops soft tweed so this is a yarn that i haven't used before it is 50 percent wool 25 percent alpaca and 25 percent viscose i'm assuming the viscose is going to be like those little tweedy buttons that you'll see throughout it um, but the, the bulk of the fiber is comprised of that wool and alpaca so this one was actually on sale when i bought it so that's one of the reasons why i splurged because normally this is too expensive for me um, um, but this one is, let's see, 130 meters per 50 gram ball. Uh, so the colors I got were marzipan, guacamole, and grizzly bear. And I'm planning to do, I cannot remember the name of the sweater, but it's a Jennifer Steingrass pattern. I've done two of her other patterns previously, and I really, really like them. I really enjoy color work. So I want to do that, this sweater. Obviously, marzipan is going to be the main color. I'm going to start out the, the wheat stalks or the leaves in the grizzly and then slowly transition it to the guacamole green i i really love these two colors together of this sort of like oatmeal -y, oatmeal sort of tan with the guacamole color i think they're absolutely gorgeous so i was a little bit hesitant to try it but i think it's going to be really really pretty and i'm excited for this one i would say that the marzipan color doesn't really have a whole lot of tonal variation in it for like what i would consider a tweed i guess it's okay the guacamole has a lot of variation and it looks really really pretty like you get these little shots of like absolutely bright bright yellow in there i think it just makes it look really really interesting so i'm excited for that um, same thing with the grizzly bear you do you do get some of those more ready color browns and then it moves into white and stuff like there i also really was intrigued by the color peppercorn but i couldn't find a pattern that i was like really itching to make with it but it's definitely on my radar if i make this and i like it then i'll probably go back and get peppercorn because i thought that one looked really interesting i hope everyone has enjoyed my yarn haul from wool warehouse and drops designs and i will see everyone next time take care mm -hmm.